I've always had a love for public service. I got a call in 2009 about an opening as, as chief of staff at the SJTA for Bart Mueller, who's a previous Eagle Award winner. And Bart asked me to come down and be his chief of staff. And uh, I, I really appreciated the opportunity under him. He was a great mentor and a, and a good person on top of that. And I was chief of staff for about two and a half years under Bart. I stayed as chief of staff until October 2015, where I was ultimately promoted to executive director. The SATA recently passed what is a $497.5 million capital budget. It's the largest in the, in, the, in the authority's history. We do have a number of projects here in the short term. By fall 2020 and spring of 2021, we're gonna do a, some, about $20 million worth of repaving or resurfacing on the expressway. We're also responsible for some roads in Atlantic City proper. Uh, specifically Route 87, 187, and we have the connector tunnel, of course, which connects from the expressway coming into town at mile marker 0.0, .0 through down to the marina where uh, Borgata is located, Harris, Golden Nugget, and we're responsible for those roads as well. So we're looking to, uh, in, in 2021, create about 1,200 jobs uh, to knock down the main barrier plazas. We have two located on the expressway and have overhead gantry similar to what we have today with Easy Pass and be able to travel through and offer what would be, we think, a, a better product uh, for our customers. Other projects we have, uh, once again, to relieve congestion is widening the expressway from mile marker 31 to 44. This is in the Gloucester County, Camden County region, uh, both ways. Uh, it's about $150 million, we believe and we're looking forward to kicking off design for that project and hopefully shovels in the ground sometime in, in 2021, 2022. We love the airport. It's really an opportunity for us to grow in the idea of air service and what we offer today. Last year we did about 1.2 million passengers. We pride ourselves on the convenience factor. We have our own airspace, so we don't have congestion in the air. Our parking facilities are extremely close getting through the TSAs relatively quickly. So we feel like we offer a, a, a strong experience for our air traveler as well. And we're always working hard to bring in new air service. Uh, we feel like our amenities and our facilities are top notch. Through our capital program in years past, we've totally outfitted the airport so that if we grew to 5 million passengers overnight, that we wouldn't need to make one internal infrastructure upgrade to the terminal itself. All of JFK, Philadelphia International, Newark, and half of LaGuardia can fit within our campus. One of the things I'm most proud of is our Transportation Services Department. In 2019, we provided over 550,000 one-way passenger trips in partnership with NJ Transit and other uh, entities in South Jersey. We operate a fleet of buses, vans, trucks, uh, sedans. As a sister agency to NJ Transit, we work closely with them to, to supplement services that they can't reach here in South Jersey. I'd like to thank the Alliance for Action for tonight's Eagle Award. I'm really humbled by the opportunity. I appreciate uh, my team and all the work they put in to make me look good and, and, and move our mission forward down at the South Jersey Transportation Authority. Thank you.